Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. Is it possible to execute commands on a Docker Swarm cluster hosted in the cloud from my local Mac? If yes, how can I do it? This is a common scenario for developers looking to manage their cloud resources efficiently. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. Yes, you can execute commands on a Docker Swarm cluster hosted in the cloud from your local Mac. First, ensure that you have Docker installed on your Mac. Next, you need to configure your local Docker client to connect to the remote Docker Swarm. This involves setting the Docker host environment variable. Now that your Docker client is configured, you can create a secret in your Docker Swarm. Use the following command, replacing the placeholder with the path to your local file. Finally, you can create a service in your Docker Swarm that uses the secret you just created. Use this command to do so. And that's it. You are now able to execute commands on your Docker Swarm cluster from your local Mac. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To remotely connect to Docker Swarm, you can use SSH commands instead of directly accessing the Docker daemon. This method avoids the complexity of setting up TLS certificates. First, create your DigitalOcean droplets and install Docker. Then, initialize the swarm on the Manager node and join other nodes using the provided join command. Next, export your SSH command for easy access. You can then run Docker commands remotely, including creating secrets without uploading files to the swarm manager. For creating secrets, use the command with SSH to pipe the secret file directly. This allows you to manage secrets and deploy stack files without transferring them to the swarm. This method allows you to manage your Docker swarm efficiently without the hassle of transferring files or setting up TLS, making it easier to work with multiple swarms. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a remote Docker Swarm, you can create a Docker context using SSH. First, run the command to create the context, then use it to manage your remote containers. Alternatively, you can directly use the host option in your commands. This allows you to run commands on the remote Docker engine without creating a context. You can set the remote context as default, making it easier to issue commands as if they were local. Just remember, you only need the Docker CLI installed. For secure connections, use key-based authentication. You can also set up SSH control sockets to speed up command execution.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a remote Docker node, first set up TLS on both the Docker host and client using a common certificate authority. Be cautious about which keys you sign with this CA as it controls access to your Docker host. For detailed instructions on setting up a CA and managing keys, refer to Docker's official documentation. Once configured, you can connect to your Docker Swarm using the same commands as you do locally, just by changing the Docker host variable in your shell. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To connect to a Docker Swarm remotely, start by creating a manager node using a generic Docker machine driver. Then, use the docker machine env command to connect from your local machine. And that's it, guys. I hope the video has helped find you to that resolution and you are able to get through your problem. If you did, guys, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. It does help me out. And until next time, have a good one.